Hello, welcome back to Brandon Social Learning. In this episode, I want to share with you uh, these creations. It's basically, um, if you look at it, it's a little bit like a, like a mandala, and it's also like a little bit like a kinetic sculpture. You might have seen something like this uh, on YouTube or on TikTok. So it's basically, um, it's an array, circular array of um, lines that's actually, this is uh, kind of like a sine wave line and yeah that's pretty much pretty much basically uh kind of like a circular array and i'll show you the control that we have at the moment so i can increase decrease the number of array i can change the radius and i can randomize the seed so there's like a that's like a like a ball in different shapes that's been arranged and then it's also okay I can control the number of the balls that's uh, yeah it's pretty simple and basic you can see the okay the lines looking like this right it's like a sine wave and then this guy is also rotating and it is also kind of offset you can actually print this out or create like a me mechanical objects that's kind of doing the same thing it's gonna look kind of interesting if the if it's rotating based on the wind or something right so let's take a look at how I created this first of all we're gonna need um, circular array nodes from Johnny Johnny Gizmo and I'm using it twice uh, let's look at this from from the last part so I can disconnect this we can see there are two parts it's very basic the first one will make the pipe so it's a, it's the, like a sine wave pipe that's being offset by time and the other one is this ball and I can control the number of ball less or more and then randomize the radius so we have this like this type of mandala it's almost like a like a jellyfish of some sort okay so yeah we are using circular array so it's we have like a some kind of duplications and I'm rotating the instance okay I'm rotating so this guy is actually rotating not just offset it's actually rotating if I turn off the the actual offset it is simply just rotating okay this is the actual kinetic sculpture that you might see on YouTube or TikTok. Yeah, it's rotating. There's like a sine wave and it feels like kind of like alive um, even though it's just rotating. It gives some kind of interesting motions, kind of like uh, hypnotic. Maybe there is also like a, a better way to arrange the ball so it's looking a little bit more interesting. But this is just uh, the basic. So I, so I keep mentioning about sine wave. Okay, the sine wave is coming from the curve. So if we go back all the way, I started with just a curve line, and I modify the curve so it's uh, it's starting from minus three point fourteen y and to three point fourteen in positive. So it's just a simple lines and I just sub subdivide it, subdivided the lines or resampling it with a number and then based on the line points positions I look at the y value and using it to to modify the line so it's it's creating like a sine wave like a sine line so I can draw it like this so originally it's a simple line like this resample and then based on the position of the line in the y directions I use that y value and then use it with sine wave to control uh, this this guy over here I can actually do more like uh, if I use multiplier or less less or more right we can make it dancing so maybe that's useful 
and I can have more or less wave. Okay, so now it's a little bit crazier, of course. But keep it simple, just a sine wave with a lot of instance, a uh, little like a ball or like a bell. I don't know, like a metal ball. It can have like different color as well. In this case, uh, because this is geometry nodes and this is like digital, I can make it offset as well. So I, I have this offset along the sine wave. It gives like a, like a snake or like a worm type of motions because it's the sine wave basically. So this is uh, optional. The secret is just sine wave that goes into the Z axis to create this snake like shapes so we get that curved shapes i simply use it um, first um, i just use it with a curve to mesh okay this is very basic see if, if i make it triangle so there is a pipe that's uh, underneath the bowl that's uh yeah it's basically this this guy over here just this pipe and the other one the other one is just the ball this is just uh, an instance of objects <clears throat> so grid that has been extruded so I'm to make the ball I simply create a grid like a triangle uh, like a rectangle shape and I simply extrude it so we have like this simple ball shapes and I subdivide it so we get this I think kind of interesting alien looking creations right uh, the rest of them is just a uh, resemble okay we have <clears throat> we have control over the number of ball I think somewhere we're gonna have like a nice uh, nice amount that's giving it enough detail so it's looking kind of nice like a like a mandala and yeah the rest of them is just circular array and there's nothing much to it I instance the, the whole balls on points I did the resembling I'm aligning the balls using vectors. <clears throat> it's all like very basic and trivial, and you uh, you should be able to create this uh, yourself from scratch, maybe half hour or less. Once you have these single creatures, then you can you can actually modify this and just give it like a different amount. You can have multiple kinetic sculpture like this. I think you can also like make the lines longer or shorter these lines over here like if we yeah if we play around with the line see see how it change everything maybe that's what you want but anyway this is the basic shapes yep yeah? I think the small one can have less tentacles the larger one has a lot more smaller radius yeah, anyway it's totally up to you um, so this could be the basic for other more interesting design if you want to go a little bit crazier I mean you can use another circular array because it's so simple to create this node is very handy from Johnny see you can just create more array and then you can also just randomize the radius yeah maybe yeah maybe you don't want to do this but it's, it's a little bit too much there you go okay so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you